Hello everyone, Mary here from Angels Love and Light on all social media and YouTube. My website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com where you'll see information on all my readings, my books, my blog, etc. So I have a good route through it and see if there's anything there that um, can serve you. And I'm here of course on YouTube most days. So this is the monthly horoscope reading for April 2016 for the star sign of Leo. So welcome all you Leos. And I'm using Doreen Virtues Goddess deck. Strong guidance to use that this month. Four from that and one from the crystal deck by octopusbooks.co.uk. Now as well as that, during the night last night, I received a message, we'll say. And I've circulated it. It's like one of these shady things, but it's not. It's spreading the love and the light around. So I'll tell you what I got anyway. It was from Higher Self. Came in the middle of the night. I happened to be awake and here goes. April is Feel the Love Month. Find the love within. Feel it. Let it flow through you to every part of your body. Breathe in love. Blow out love. Send and receive love through your heart. Practice this daily. Speak your love. Write your love. Love yourself. Love others. Pass on the love. Make love your priority. We need more love on earth and it starts with you. Happy Love Month. So the month of April, it should be every month, but make it a big priority for the month of April. There must be a reason I received the download. Uh, there may be people who need love and anyway, our vibrations bring to us a higher quality of people, situations, etc. So if you vibrate love, you receive love. You give out love, you receive love. So that's it. You can take that down, write it down, share it, put it on your Facebook pages, your Twitter pages, wherever. Do what you like with it. You don't have to attribute um, it to me or anything. Just let it off into the universe and see where it ends up. So our four cards from our goddess deck for Leo for this month are... <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Now, what day was this? There was a day in March. It's uh, the 21st or 22nd, the spring equinox. Ostara. So this is our um, goddess, Ostara, and her message is fertility. She's sowing seeds. So it's like springtime we sow our seeds and they come to fruition. They grow and yield fruit. So it's a time of sowing seeds. It's also a time of reaping what you've sown. Because we're not all the time sowing seeds, but we are. I think every move we make is sowing a seed and reaping the benefits. You're still sowing seeds because you're interacting with people, you're, you're vibrating higher. You know, it's, it's, it's a cycle. Sowing seeds, reaping the benefits. 
so just watch your thoughts during this month sow seeds of love and you will reap seeds of love and we're looking at the Easter Bunny there so the energies hopefully were abundant around Easter and getting stronger more abundance and the message on the card is it's the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions there are stars and daffodils bunnies yellow flowers bringing the sunshine into your solar plexus and she has something around her neck is that a star it must be all star yeah okay if you can see that i'm saying it's a star for the moment because of her name Ostara. okay now our next one is nematona sacred space so this is finding your sacred space if you need quiet time going there physically if it's a room in your house with all your candles lit like she has if it's the church where you go to have your quiet time if it's a meditation group if it's a walk by the sea the forest or somewhere else also you can also find your sacred space in a crowd within you feel the calm inner space love and light within you and that will draw the same to you you'll be calm in the middle of any chaos sacred space create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine so as i'm saying you can connect with the divine anywhere you don't have to go to anywhere in particular but if you have your sacred space where you feel um, quiet energy and sacred energy go there it's a month for that and um, here in ireland anyway our clocks well in most of the western countries and um, the clocks have moved forward and our evenings and days are going to be longer so you know you won't be driving in the dark if you're driving long distances time out your sacred space find a spiritual place maybe you've been thinking of going to a spiritual place for a long time now that spring is here and uh, new energy new light and um, maybe go there plan that trip and we have una she's an irish celtic goddess too una in our new way of um, spelling it u n a u father our irish father like a, an accent in french u n a easy does it so you might have lots of energy spring cleaning newness coming in you might feel energized but just remember not to overdo it remember the usual message balance work rest and play there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing and you know when we have high energy again we 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 tend to go 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 and what can i do now what can i do now and we do tend maybe to push because we are feeling energized and full of um positivity so just relax take your time and don't try to uh, force anything to happen find your sacred space connect with your higher self and um, connect with others in meditation in quiet time find your guidance uh, don't rush into stuff without taking your quiet time first to tune into your guidance and uh, remember that whatever you're doing now you are sowing the seeds for the future 
So be aware of the thoughts you're putting out there and uh, the feelings you're feeling. And our last card is Bridget. So Bridget was an Irish saint as well as a goddess. Oh, keeps going. Don't back down. Now it just might mean that there might be a little challenge or two. People might not understand why you're on the path you're on. They might challenge you or they might ask you or they might say, Lord, that doesn't sound right. Don't back down. You have your own inner knowingness. You have the passion in your heart. Your heart knows what's best for you. You've been on this path. Your strong inner guidance is telling you that you're right. Talk to St. Bridget or Goddess Bridget. There are, I was speaking about spiritual places earlier. There are, um, in Ireland, there are St. Bridget's Wells. I was at one myself outside Mullingar a couple of weeks ago. There are others. There's uh, um, Bridget's Garden, which I've been meaning to go to myself, outside Galway. Um, so anything spiritual or if the name Bridget means anything to you, um, anybody in spirit that you'd like to connect with in your meditation, they might have messages for you. Or whatever other Bridget's, Bridget's St. Bridget's Day here is the 1st or 2nd of February. Um, if that date means anything to you as well. Other than that, don't back down. Trust your inner knowingness. Stand up for what you believe is right. So stand up for what you believe is right. Don't forget the seeds you're sowing, but you're also reaping. Easy does it. Don't push forward too fast. Find your sacred space and connect with your angels and guides. At all the time being assertive, calmly and with love with love for you and with love for everybody else. So calmly and assertively hold your own. Don't back down. Know your own feelings and your own guidance and that you can do all this so gently. So that's that. Now we go to our crystal deck, which usually gives an overall umbrella to all those messages. Get. You might like to use the actual crystal if it's easy available. Some peeping out here. It's pink. Petalite. It's pink anyway. It's heart. It's love. Petalite. Okay. It's pink. Words on the card. Color pale green or pink or clear. Oh. Its availability is expensive and rare. So you probably won't be able to get petalite for the rose quartz, I would say, like it looks very like rose quartz. So if you haven't got a rose quartz crystal, purchase one. They're freely available and put them on your body, round your neck on a chain, under your pillow, beside your bed, in your space, on your altar, wherever. So rose quartz for this month. Keywords, angelic, uplifting, and harmony. Good. So drawing this crystal signifies that your psychic or spiritual work will develop more quickly. Be open to spiritual or angelic guide messages. Okay, so that's our sacred space. I did say that. Link in with them, tune into them, so you'll be getting stronger and stronger messages. Okay. So drawing this crystal signifies that your psychic or spiritual work will develop more quickly. Be open to spiritual or angelic messages. So find your sacred space. Know the path you're on. Don't force stuff. And the seeds you have sown before will be manifesting now with your psychic gifts getting stronger. And also the seeds you're sowing now will be seeds that you will reap in the future. So just remember that. What you do now is crucial. 
quiet time, connect with your angel guides and spirit guides. So spiritual, quiet, nice month. So I'm not sure whether it's a fully inner month. You're, you are going to be meeting people, don't back down. So it's not a fully inner month, but it's a mostly inner quiet month. Linking with your guides and angels, it's important. So love and light to you, Leo, and have a great month and check back mid-month and see how you're doing. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.